and you know hopefully we could you know still fish and stuff uh, but yeah we do a lot of that oh there we go there we go there we go guys we're on Hey guys, so I'm out here with Paul Andrew out of Bastion. Yes. So I was driving by, I was gonna call it quits, man. And sometimes I don't feel too comfortable staying out here alone. So I was passing by and I was like, well, let me ask, man. And uh, you were pretty cool with that, huh? Uh, of course, man. We're always down to have more people out here. It's always a party with the Prodigy Fishing team. <laughs> guys, make sure you go and subscribe to this channel. Love the content. If you guys enjoy fishing, most importantly, if you enjoy adventurous shark fishing, these are the guys right here, man. I love their channel. But today, we're going to hang out over here. I'm going to finish setting up my camp in a little bit, but hey, this guy's a little hungry, man. So <laughs> I hear they have uh, food right now. So let's go get some. Let me explain a couple of things as I take advantage of the Prodigy's Buffet. It's a late Saturday afternoon and I had already been through several adventures at South Padre. I had been stuck at the East Cut and I had even crossed the Port Mansfield Channel on a boat at Pins. I'm happy traveling with a group or by myself. I was on my own this weekend and would be spending the night solo by the dunes. That never sits well with my concerned and loving wife, so I figured I'd camp close to the Prodigy team and get to spend some valuable time getting to know them better. Hey guys, over here with Paul Andrew Odobashian and the Prodigy Fishing team. So excited, man. I get to hang out with these guys today. So gracious. Well, let me introduce you. Here's some of the characters here. What's your name, brother? Julio. Vince. Frank, brother. Gilly. Malik. Fernanda. The boys and Paul. <laughs> Warren. Sabrina. Joel. Mario. All right, there you go, man. I wanted to do a proper introduction to the team. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen today. I don't know, but every time that I run up, I run into these guys, they always seem to catch something special. So I don't know. What do you think, guys? What are we gonna get? It's gonna be a night game. It's gonna be night. Call the hammer. Nah, it's not gonna be a hammer. Damn! Damn! The most. Uh, hammer at midnight. Hammer at confidence, midnight. man. That's what you need. Confidence. While Prodigy waited for the big hookup, I got a visit from my new friend at Osmo and his dog Blackie. Blackie, get him, boy! <laughs> they hung around for a while but had to leave for the day. You can see more of it Osmo in my previous videos. I got back to the group where they shared their secret to clean living and extensive knowledge on catching sharks. I used to be I used to be Frank the Tank, but now these days, well, I, I gotta keep it clean. You You're know? a better person I, now. Yeah, I, I, I am. I am. It, it took a while. Uh, I, I think it's been about seven years. So, God willing, everything you know, with the with the power of God and, and my friends and everything behind me, like luckily everything happened. So, so luckily I'm, I'm able to say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm able to say that I'm here with my friends, and and this could happen. So it could happen to anybody else. And I encourage you to to, to, to make it happen. You know? Very inspiring. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the best decisions that mm. I made. So, so, it so like detox, completely detox. Uh, one day to the next. Yeah, yeah. One day to the next. Purified, just pure yeah, water yes, running exactly, through your veins like, right now. Exactly, you know. I always try yeah. to get Frank shots. Right? No, I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm I don't. a little devil in the yeah, air. Yeah, I forget. No, it's okay. You know, I tell him no. But he powers through it. But yeah, I power through it. I, I keep it strong. <laughs> I keep on fighting through yeah. it. Uh, I'm still standing. I'm still strong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no there. devil. No. Well, you know, it's there. It's, 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 you know. It's there. Paul's right here. Paul's right here telling me. Yeah. Paul's right here. Yeah. Paul's so you're some Don Julio, 1942. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Well, maybe I'll think about it, but, you know, I'll, I'll just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, who can tell me, are there different baits that are being placed Picked out there? Right yeah. Okay, right now, this time of year that there's big bull sharks, there's hammers. So this time of year, you're heading down on the drag, you put bigger baits out, you know what I mean? Like you hammer down that drag. So it's a little bit of a different game. There's still a lot of smaller sharks around, especially for this time of year, mm -hmm. because you know, you always got black tips year round. But 
this year specifically we got a lot of smaller sharks ripping up the baits but in other years around this time you got those big jack cravels coming in and they come in like first gut like you cast out a shrimp first gut cast like a 50 inch jack so those big hammers come in to eat those but also one thing they overlook is that there's bonnet heads coming in to drop their pups bonnet heads are like the smallest species of hammerhead so the bonnet heads come in june july they specifically eat blue crab and they're coming in every bonnet head you catch is a pregnant bonnet head they're coming to drop their pups hammers are coming in to eat those bonnet heads but they're also taking jack pieces but they're coming close so you can drop like a year ago we dropped some baits literally second gut like less than 100 yards from the beach you know i was tired i remember we were in the kayak it was the last day of the day i dropped one of her dad's baits and i was like right here i don't even care anymore i know it's close but you know what i'm tired yeah he got a nine foot hammer that night and joel got like almost an 11 foot hammer that night you know and there are different distances but like mm -hmm. joel's was way out there in the blue and mine was like in the dirty water you know less than 100 yards out and he still nailed the hammer the hammers and tigers this season they come in close nice. they come up on the bars and they come in to feed so like you can drop a big bait up close this time of year and still nail a big shark does it matter i mean what what is it that you're do you experiment with different types of oh. bait Different oh, yeah. weights, oh, different... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, this time of year, tiger starts come in, and if they feel that weight, they'll drop it. Because tigers are one of the few sharks, they don't need to be swimming to breathe. So they'll come in, they'll pick up a bait, they'll drop it. They'll pick up the bait, and they'll just mess with it, mess with it, mess with it. If they feel the weight, they'll drop it. So you leave your drag loose for the tigers, but tiger season's a couple months away when they really start coming in thick. August is tiger season. So during August, you leave your, your, your drag a little bit looser, you drop smaller weights, so they pick it up and they commit to it. They go out 30 yards before you set that drag. Hammers from the get-go, they're just gonna, you, you'll know you got a hammer from the get. They'll just be screaming and screaming and screaming. You won't even have time to think. You'll just be there at your reel just like, ah. I'm here with Joel and every time, I know, I know that every time that you guys drive by and you see this red, Red Chevy over here, lifted Chevy with all that fancy stuff up in the top. I know you guys are wondering what's up, so let's do a proper introduction. I know I've had him in my videos in the past, but, you know, hey, we got Joel over here. Joel, I hear some exciting stuff, man. I hear that. That's right, yeah. Your experience can be shared now with other people. That's correct, yeah. Um, I'm now doing uh, shark fishing charters off the beach here on South Padre Island. Um, I do charters, I do I do full day shark fishing trips off the beach. You get to bring your family, bring your friends, get together, hang out on the beach and catch fish. Uh, we don't always catch sharks. We also catch uh, redfish, drums, stingrays, but in the mix, we always get a shark in there. But we get a lot of stuff and it's a lot of fun. You get to come out with the family, get to enjoy the fishing trip, enjoy the beach. It's a great time. But Joel, here's the thing, man. Whatever, more than likely, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but more than likely, the baits, the stuff that you're casting out there, more than likely, it's gonna be a big fish. That's right, yeah, we do, uh, we do different drops. We do cast outs like we do for smaller sharks, but we do get six, seven foot sharks in the mix. But when we put baits out there, you know, that's when you, know, you get the big sharks, 10 foot hammerheads, 12 foot uh, tigers, hammers, a lot of stuff that you could get out there. And you know, as we've seen in the past, we've done that. And you know, we also you know, do a lot more than that. We also tag them, uh, get a fin clip for a Texas shark rodeo, and we release the sharks. Uh, all the sharks, we release them and we let them go for Texas shark rodeo. And an awesome experience, man. I mean, if somebody, just to take a picture with one of these beautiful animals right top predator out in the sea to be able to take a picture with one of them or with any big old fish like that i mean that's pretty cool i mean because uh you don't have to do that all that big investment if you're coming down to the island you want to visit that's correct yeah i get a lot of people from out of town you know they want to get into it or you know they want to learn about it you know don't worry just take a trip with me i can show you what you need if you want to get into it as well book a charter and you know hopefully we could you know still fish and stuff uh, but yeah we do a lot of that oh there we go there we go there we go guys we're on all right yeah 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 i think it might have dropped it Walk us through it, Joel. Walk us through it, man. You're still hot. 
Get your harness on, hurry up. Fine. Hurry, hurry up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's a big fish, hurry up to me. I'm telling you, I I think I think Coastal GX brings we got the a magic little touch, luck. guys. There you go. All right, yeah. All right, lean it right here. Hold on to the rod. Hold on to the rod. Guys, that's Sabrina right there. Yeah. All right, lean back on it. Damn. That's a big fish, guys. That's the big hammer we've been waiting for all year. Yeah. How do you need it more up? No, the back. The back. Come on, babe. Lean back on it. You gotta put pressure. Not too much, but there you go. Dude, that float. We got floats about that big that are out there. Uh huh. So in case we have about 40 foot liters and uh, we have floats out there that are about that big. And so what those floats do, we ever run baits and we get cut off. All we do is we go back and we retire line back onto that float so we never lose our leader. But the fun part about that is when we have our floats out, you get to see the float going back and forth and into the water when the sharks pick them up. It almost looks like a popping cork when you're fishing for trout, but you got But big... how big is that float though? Oh, that, that float's about that big. So it takes a lot of pressure to put it under the water. That's when you know it's a big fish. Incredible. So what, what's your feeling on this one right here, Joel? Um, I know it's a big fish for sure. Uh, hopefully it's a hammer. It could be a big bull too, depending, but we'll find out in a bit. Wonderful, man, wonderful. So Sabrina right here, She's part of the team, That's but right. this is something, for example, is this something that uh, somebody would be uh, that this enjoying? Is a, this is part of the charter. This is what we do. So if anybody gets lucky when we're out here in a charter, we can get a bigger fish like this. But most of the time, you know, we always get a shark. We always put people on a shark. Some people get lucky and they'll catch the biggest shark of their life. It could be a six foot shark. It could be a 12 foot hammer. You never know what it could be. Talk to me, man. Each one, if somebody wants to get into the sport, why is it important to get into a charter instead? Because that investment on each one of those right. reels that you have there, what are we looking at, man? Right, so a reel like this could run anywhere between $800 to $1,000, depending on where you get it. But this, these reels value anywhere from $800 and up. Um, the rods alone are about 600 bucks each, custom made, and the line runs about three to four hundred dollars just to put line on each reel so you're talking about over a thousand dollars easily just on each rod and reel and then you have paul was telling me and then you have the other little part which is the jet ski i mean the maintenance on that yeah that then you have maintenance on the jet ski um you know you have also losing leaders and tackle that's always in the mix that's why you know it's a big investment when you you know do all this but it obviously it pays off you got to you know, know what you're do doing. Always got to be on your game when you're doing this. So absolutely, man. I think it's a, it's a damn bargain you yes, know, to be able to do this at least once. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So if anybody's ever interested, yeah. book a trip of a lifetime. We got you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Project Fishing Charters. Sabrina, what are you feeling? <laughs> Tired? A lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on? You feel them, right? Yeah. You right, don't you want anybody to tickle you at, at this point. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gilly, can you do me a favor? Can you reel in these two rods down here? Or just that one for now. Oh, just that one for now, and if anything, we'll reel in that one too, so it won't get crossed once we're bringing in the shark. Why, why is it that you're doing that or having them do um, that? So basically, when we land a big shark like this, what it tends to do when it gets close, it tends to go back and forth on the sandbars. So we want to take any baits out that are up close to so avoid getting tangled in those lines. You're doing good. This particular bait, the one that you had on that. Oh, real, 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 real. Don't oh. get Did it come off? Nah, I don't think so. 
Did it. Did it come off? I don't know. I think that's no, I think it's there. there. No father, no? Yeah, so that bait that was on there was a big uh, Jack Crevel head about that big. Wow. So it was a big Damn bait about that big boy. with a big 24-odd uh, uh, non-stainless circle hook from uh, Cat Sharks. This leader is actually a Golden Hands uh, leader made by Golden Hands. Uh, he's one of our suppliers of tackle. Nice. Yeah, keep pressure, babe. Always keep pressure. Never let them go slack. Recording and it happened. <laughs> that, that's crazy. It's perfect banner. Yes. Okay, that's anything rope will work. Get all that ready. That the bolt cutters and the yellow measuring tape is right here. It's on the top. Just put it on the floor near the beach. The bolt cutters. If you get get the hook out easy, and it's good shark. You just cut the hook. You take it out. Quick release. The shark survives. So you're already, I yeah, mean. We always, keep, we always get the bolt cutters ready because you never know. It's better to lose a 30 to dollar liter than to kill a shark, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's that float that's out there, straight out there to the left. There's an orange float out there. You'll see it right now. There's one on the right. There's two. There's one on the right and one on the left. It's the one on the left. I'm looking up. It's in either the front seat or the driver's the passenger. There you go, babe. Keep putting pressure. Don't give up yeah, on it. I know it hurts, but keep pressure. So that float that they're talking pass. about, when it comes in, there's two floats out the there, he says. I doubt if the camera yeah, can the get it, but I can yeah. see it bopping up and down <laughs> way out there. There you go, babe. There you go. There you go. Don't put too, too much, but bring them in. There you go. You got it. Fuck yeah. Hey, you got to rack the stop fee, bro. I almost got pulled in in Florida. <laughs> yeah. She did too. <laughs> I call it 7 8 foot bull shark. There you go. Big. Cut it out if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a big ass bull. Yeah, no, I think it's a bull. The Might hammer, be a. The hammer would have taken off. That was a little bit of a slow roll. Yeah, it could possibly be a big, a big bull shark. If it hits the bars and it starts running again, it's a bull shark. How far was this particular? Uh, this was my farthest one. This one was about close to 600 yards out. Okay guys, so the team is heading out there. A select team, a select group of people that volunteered to go out there. Everybody everybody gets a crack at it. So it's not like uh, only certain people do it. Everybody gets a chance to go out there. And this time around, it's gonna be Gilly, I think I see Joel out there. Frank. It's gonna be exciting. I don't see fins either. I don't see no tail. I don't see it. Came up. You think? What? Came up. No. Came up. It broke off. That's how it happens sometimes. You want to check out the hook? This is the hook. <laughs> this is the hook that these guys are using out here. Hey, Joel, so which one's the hook and which one's the spider weight, man? So here's the weight. The agony is shark fishing. Sometimes you lose some, but you came back with a sand dollar. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, we didn't get to find out if it was a hammerhead or a bull shark, but watching the team work together was exciting and I learned a lot. Now it was time to see if nightfall would bring us any luck. Okay, there's some action over here. It's going to be difficult. 
to get it on video because obviously it's we're dealing with the dark here. It appears Alex probably had a bull red, but that was another disappointment. <laughs> However, it's never boring hanging out with a prodigy fishing team. Like Paul said, it's always a beach party. So, when in Rome. Sunday morning was a whole different game. The Sharks woke up hungry and the Prodigy team was there to bring them in. Whatever comes, we will be just fine. If I am yours and you are mine. Okay, man, what did you get here? This is a body head, real body head, nothing too big. Uh, they're pretty good eating. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this side is pretty good eating, so we're gonna go ahead and throw them back. Let him grow a little bit more. All right, man. Let's let him go. This guy's a foisty. Just the little ones you have to watch out for. Uh, they are real. Agile. The big real ones are a lot taller. Yeah, that one's bigger. Excited? What's your name, huh? Jasmine. Jasmine. All right. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Just picked up camp, heading back home. But first, 
first, I got to drop off uh, Frank with a <laughs> prodigy fishing team. What's going on, guys? He had, he had, he had to leave the island, man. Yeah, and, yeah. Gotta, and, gotta, home. Gotta, gotta get home to do the honeydews. And those guys, they're going to be yeah. there for a while, huh? Yeah, they will. Yeah, yeah they will. They will. Especially this morning because the fishing was hot. They're, they're on fire right now, though. Actually, as, as a matter of fact, you know, they're hitting the bonnets. Them hitting the bleaks, the, you know, them nice tippers and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good day. Well, I have a lot of other stuff to do, man. I, Sandy needs to get cleaned up. I need to log video. I've got stuff to put away. And uh, I need a little maintenance and tender loving care myself. You know, and I'm sure my wifey is waiting for me at home anxiously. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support you've been bringing to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And hit that notification bell. Click it. Boom.